The chandeliers happen from an accident, which is one of the best ways to get out of your own way. That's something that you didn't intend. When something goes wrong, when something doesn't happen as you willfully wanted, it opens your mind to something that's right in front of you. One day, my father very characteristically is making a sketch, mixed media, grabbing anything that's in front of him, and not only of conceiving of a design, but then quickly visualizing it. So he's drawing it in order to communicate to others for a meeting. And in the process of adding some finishing touches with paint, a splat happened on his perspective, and there was no time to really start over again because it was just before a meeting. All this paint splashed on the drawing and created some very nice elements, but in the middle of the drawing, like fireworks, you know. My husband came and said, What did you do now? Rockefeller is waiting, Bimp is waiting, everyone is waiting. Gosh, what shall you do now? So he quickly added some lines so that splotch of white paint could be refracted light from the chandelier. My father was nervous about that because Rockefeller and Harrison both were thinking that they would get a traditional design for a chandelier, and this clearly was something else. And uh, when I brought this, Rockefeller looked, and big also said, well, it looks very nice. I said, that's what? But it isn't this white. Don't look at this white spots and so on. Look on the, mm -hmm. at the drawing behind him. And I said, no, no, we are talking about that. Is it possible to do something like that? And Carson looked at me and I said, yes, of course we could do something. There's a reason why everybody went, ah. Even though they had other intentions, my father's intention was not to splash across the page. Harrison's intention was to respect Rockefeller's intention, which was to do a traditional chandelier. But they all went, oh, there's something that is shared that's just in the air. And suddenly it started to assert itself as not just an accident, but as something that could be the, the beginning, the birth, the genesis of the design.